Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Kelsey Tucson received her first one-on-one -on -one date of the season during The Bachelor's sixth episode, giving her the opportunity to finally take center stage. When Kelsey went on a date with Joey in Montreal, they had the opportunity to improve their aerial skills while working with a Cirque du Soleil aerialist. Following their date, Joey and Kelsey were able to have a romantic meal together, giving Kelsey the opportunity to spend some time alone with Joey. During the talk, a breach between her and her father caused Kelsey to start thinking ahead to the future and to be extremely open about her anxieties about hometowns. I want to feel at ease because I haven't always had the finest ties with my family, especially my dad. Hometowns are approaching. My dad and I had a close relationship when we were kids. He was my rock and my refuge of safety. We talked about everything. He would always be there for me, no matter what, and he didn't communicate with me for a very long time, Kelsey told Joey. When Joey found out about this, she asked Kelsey what had gone wrong between her and her father, and Kelsey was honest enough to say that religion was the reason. According to Kelsey, it was religious, Joey heard. In my heart, I knew it wasn't where I wanted to be, but he wanted me to be in that and to concentrate on it. He was not at all in favor of my desire to attend college. Everyone living in his home has another religious affiliation. After deciding to leave the religion, Kelsey eventually moved home with her mother and didn't talk to her father for a while, as she told Joey. She did, thankfully, remark that she started to mend the connection, but it's obvious that this has been a big burden for Kelsey. It took a lot of bravery for her to share her experience on the show and to be so honest and vulnerable. Although Kelsey Tucson refrained from disclosing specifics about the religion she left behind, while filming The Bachelor, she has been candid about her choice to do so in the public eye. In a 2019 interview, Kelsey spoke candidly about her choice to leave the Jehovah's Witness community. I was actually quite quiet when I was little. Every time I received a creative task from school, I would momentarily flourish. I understood immediately that my body was infused with creative genes. My dad still has a talk show that I produced, scripted, and starred in on his phone. He didn't seem to know that I had it. In fact, nobody did, not even me. I discovered I wanted to pursue creative for the rest of my life when I enrolled in a theatrical class in high school. I was a devout Jehovah's Witness at the time, so I knew the two couldn't coexist. I then made the decision to give up on the faith and concentrate on enrolling at California State University, Northridge. Growing up as a Jehovah's Witness and coming from a rigorous religious culture, as Kelsey mentioned on the episode, her decision to leave the faith was fraught with difficulties. As Kelsey mentioned on The Bachelor, it not only caused a split with her father, but also gave her access to a world she had never known. Having come from a very rigid religious upbringing, I had to abandon a mindset that had dominated my life for almost 50 years. I had to play catch-up ever since because I was so cut off from society and didn't even recognize it, Kelsey said to Voyage LA. From mending my bonds with family and friends to viewing films I was unable to see, Friends of mine still ask me if I've watched certain movies, and they find it unbelievable that as an actor, I haven't seen some of the greatest films ever made. While Kelsey did not go into detail about the timing, she did reveal on The Bachelor that she has been working to mend her relationship with her father in recent years, telling Joey that they have gone to the movies and started calling to see how things are going. It is evident that Kelsey's decision to leave the Jehovah's Witnesses was a turning point in her life, and it takes a very strong person to be open and honest about these struggles, like Kelsey has done. Being the first deaf contestant on The Bachelor, 
Abigail Herringer created history. During season seven of Bachelor in Paradise, she got to know Noah Erb and quickly fell in love. After leaving the beach alone, the two soon got back together and are now engaged. Recently, Noah Erb talked candidly about his communication difficulties with his deaf fiance. For his approach to it, has the BIP couple begun to arrange their nuptials? The relationship between Abigail Herringer and Noah Erb is undoubtedly not your typical bachelor scenario. After neither of them succeeded in finding love on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, they decided to give Bachelor in Paradise another go. Although Joe Amabel and Serena Pitt ended the season with an engagement, the two didn't have a strong enough relationship to do so. The sudden and painful separation between Abigail and Noah stunned the audience. They did, however, quickly announce their reunion following the BIP season final. They nevertheless took their time getting engaged. After two years of dating, Noah Erb proposed in 2023. Before making their way down the aisle, the couple is taking their time. Their attention has been on remodeling the Oklahoman house they purchased. The pair appears to be at last prepared to begin planning their wedding as their house comes together. This week, Abigail Herringer revealed on her Instagram story that they had planned part of the wedding, though she didn't elaborate. Noah Erb talks about the difficulties of talking to his deaf fiance. Since she was a toddler, Abigail Herringer, who was deaf at birth, has had a cochlear implant. She was never depicted as having any trouble comprehending people on The Bachelor or Bachelor in Paradise, but how realistic was that? Noah Erb claims that he occasionally has to repeat things to his deaf fiancé because she has problems comprehending him. What is his reaction to that? He acknowledged that at times it might be even annoying in an Instagram Q&A, according to the Bachelor Nation blog. He said, when family and friends come over, they hear me repeat something five or ten times, and it can be annoying sometimes. He claimed, nevertheless, that he immediately reminded himself not to be at a asterisk asterisk hole in certain circumstances. Once I remember that if I were deaf, I would appreciate it if people repeated themselves, then I don't have a problem repeating myself, he said. How he is going to accessible his home. Abigail and Noah have been renovating their house independently. A curious fan inquired about their plans for providing deaf accessibility. Noah stated, I started researching, but please send me anything that will ease AB's burden. I would like to modify several things in our home. I'm looking into it. He continued, I've seen a couple of cool companies that do things like strobes and vibrations. What do you think of Noah Erb's admission that there are moments when talking to his deaf fiancé can be even annoying? Post your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.